we moving on from uh, from Stellum, right? <laughs> which uh, got my good three point five. Uh, we moving over to Bell Me now. I think that uh, out of everyone down here, nobody has had this experience other than Angry Principal. And, and I'm gonna tell you right now, he vouched for this shit, so yeah, it better be good. I'm, a, I'm embarrassed how quickly I drank this. One, so <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I went out into the store just to make sure it was still gonna be there before I went ahead and downed it. So mm. this is a really, really good uh, bourbon. It's a, a Bellamy Reserve okay. at 108.3 proof. One I think the one I had was 114, but uh, okay. um, this was a couple years ago. So mm -hmm. yeah, this is 108 proof. Uh, Bell Mead is out of Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. And I believe they source, and I think they're starting to make their own juice now, but this, I think the one we're having now is a source one. I'm not sure where the source is coming from. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. okay. And that's a, that's an important thing to decipher these days, though, because you'll never know where oh, shit is really being sourced. The ingredient. Oh, yeah. So y'all know what the ingredients is for but real. Man. Here's the thing, you know, I haven't even had this yet, right? But this is what sold me on it, right? Mm -hmm. The minute, you guys weren't here yet, but the minute I poured it out the bag, Angry Principal goes, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right. Like, literally. Hell yeah. So, yeah. so you already yeah. gave you the nod. So I'm like, okay, put it on the table. Yeah. Right, put it on the table. I'm all right there. We're working that one. Right. Because we know Angry Principal, he don't get too excited about too he many don't. He out there. He get a lot of attention. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he don't get excited about a lot of shit. So, yeah. All right. So, we definitely about to see what it is. Go ahead and pop that, boy. See what we talking about. Okay. Okay. Not not the wine bottle like the last one. Shit, but let's go. We fuck with it. I'm gonna be light on this bitch. Take his ass, Nashville. <laughs> 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 fucking Nashville. What the fuck was he thinking? <laughs> if y'all listening to our banter right now, you won't know what we're talking about because we were on a commercial break. <laughs> well, got that good rubbing alcohol smell. <laughs> All right, I think there's a lot of smoke in there. <laughs> oh, oh, I smell maple. Mm -hmm. I smell. And brown sugar. Some, oh, yep. Yeah. Brown, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown yeah, sugar, sure. Maple brown sugar. Yeah. Vanilla. Vanilla. I'm not sure how old it mm. is. I'm, I, don't need, I think it's eight year. I'm not 100% sure, though. Hmm. Now, now I, I do smell the cherry. I actually, actually am getting some cherry notes on this one. This is like oh, that classic. God. That's that classic bourbon mm. taste. This is like, you know... That's cherry and vanilla. How many of y'all like milk? Y'all like milk? You like drinking milk? I fuck with milk. So like nobody, Even I had in a while. nobody really likes skin milk, right? Oh hell no. You really like either two percent or above. Yeah, exactly. You like vitamin D milk because yeah. it's, it's like creamy. Yeah, because skin, I can't skin, say skin milk creamy because that's a, I feel what you said. Weird. Pause. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. skin but, milk is like fucking water. But yeah, <laughs> diet you know, milk. You, you don't want to drink no watery milk and shit, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like this is like, it's real kind of like, it has that consistency. Like, it goes down just like milk, man. It's real smooth. It's simple, right? This, this is nice. I like this. This is this is smooth right here, man. This one can be a everyday sipper slash mm. mix it with something slash share with everybody. This is one of those Swiss Army knives kind of bourbon. It, just, mm. it can fit any kind of situation you want to do. I feel like this is like real nice and just... So, of course, yeah, I mean, like you can already tell by the look in his face. It's not Crown Pete. It's not Crown Pete. It's not the devil's advocate. It's not Crown Apple, so he don't like it. But I don't. I don't, I don't like cool. it. That's serious. I don't like it. Wow. Okay. I love it. That's... What did they say? Uh, milk, the land of milk and honey? Milk and honey right here. It's rolling paper approved. <laughs> you can smoke with it. You can smoke with it. Like, even the finish, like the finish is good. even the finish, is like ease is in there. It's not. It's not like a bite. It's not like a real. Hug. It's not a bite, but it, but you can taste the like the barrel in it, like the. Oh, I, I guess. Add the finish a bit, yeah. Yeah, it depends a little bit, a little char. And it does last a little longer than. Yeah, so yeah. But not as long. Yeah, still get the fuck on. It's, I told you, it's like a bitch in the night. I mean, I, I said freaking the night. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just paid her to leave. Shit. <laughs> 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 they take a 
be taking Ubers now. Like, I be calling up <laughs> female Uber. Hey, so, like, you hey, so Uber? Let me, let me Uber. ask y'all this. I got you an Uber Luxury. Lux. Right, Lux. XL. 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 <laughs> I got you an Uber XL. Space. Hey, so real quick, though. Is that a bad thing, though? Nah, Just to chick off an Uber? I, I, I didn't sure. think so, right? But uh, we had this conversation. Like tracker ride and shit. I can make sure she's she safe. She's safe. She's safe. And if I need to, I can respond like I need to if, if necessary. So know? so is this some old nigga shit? And the only reason I asked is when I was, uh, I guess I can talk about this shit now, when I was working in corporate America at GM and shit with all these fucking uh, millennials and shit, they was appalled at that shit. Like, you send them home in the Uber? Like, uh, How yeah. To, how am I supposed to send them home? Like, don't you have a car? Like, yeah, yeah. but I don't feel like fucking driving. <laughs> So they was mad, but I, I think it's an old person shit. I'm not gonna tell her I don't feel like driving. I'm like, hey, baby, you know, I'm, you know, I'm still a little wasted from last night, blah blah, whatever. You know, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna call you this over XL, you stretch out a little bit, yeah. you, go, you know, you, you get, get home, you good. I sent you a car. Like, I really like you. Shit. I might add on a little meal to it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You feel me? I'm just Same. saying though. Hey, you say you safe and you fool. Duh. You ain't got to worry about my drug driving. Right. This shit. You got some good D. You right. safe and you fool. You good. <laughs> and the only reason I say that because like, what's the difference between back in the day somebody sending sending somebody a car, nigga? That that was some rich nigga shit. I sent you a car. That's what I did. It's just called Uber. <laughs> I sent you a car. That's though. a statement. Right? <laughs> you heard me here first. Anyway, that's <laughs> anyway, the joke. That's the joke. We got. I know this is unlike any other bourbon show y'all done ever watched before, but that's all good. You know, you learn a little bit more about the culture. Good for y'all. For sure. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like this, this is definitely an everyday one. I was embarrassed. I yeah, mine, mine, my, my mind is gone. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I feel it. I feel it. I, feel it. I want a joint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dog. Uh, so we got we gonna get to our blind tasting in a minute. Um, yeah, I don't know. Q, what what you say? I, obviously, I know you say it's, it's rolling paper approved and shit. So you can smoke weed with it, so you like it. Yep, four point two zero. Damn, you need to be above the four. Oh, black <laughs> yes. Damn. Four point two zero. Okay. Well, and your principal already know, but yeah, it's a four for me. It's, it's, a, it's a four all day. I, I, have gone through a couple bottles of this. It is a definite one in my rotation. Mm -hmm. It's not one that I'm sitting there holding on to. Yeah. I actually drink this. Right. I've gone through a couple bottles. So, yeah, this is a four for me. Damn, I, I wanna, I wanna understand where y'all coming from, cause I just, I, I just, I, it ain't, nope. I mean, it's high enough proof where it's the proof is giving high. Me, giving me what I want out of proof. Yeah, it's giving me that. It's not so high that it's, it's unbearable. To drink. Yeah. You know, uh, some of these. Like if you go to a like to create barrel proof. Oh, yeah, Sometimes yeah. You know, what, you, what you just had to eat, it hurts to drink. It hurts. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, this just comes down and smooth and pop, it gives you the flavors. It's got a little bit of complexity. It lasts just long enough mm -hmm. so that you can get a taste and you want to get another taste. And keep yeah. the show. So that's yeah. why I like it. Hmm. But what'd you say? Four point two five four. I give it a solid four black power oh. fits, man. Like. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sold on it. Ooh. I ain't principal talking. Angry principal told me I wouldn't, wouldn't be mad, wouldn't be upset. And yeah. He right. Like it's, this, this is definitely gonna work its way into my everyday rotation. You know. Mm. Well, I don't want to say everyday, but I'm gonna say my rotation because I don't want yeah. all out there thinking I'm a you know. <laughs> I think the bottle's forty five. Forty five. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think it's like forty five or forty four or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's not overly expensive, but. Mm -hmm. You do feel like you you're not wasting your money. Right, right, yeah, right. For sure. Mm. All right, so uh <laughs> hey, here we go. I'm a uh it's not like first of all, let me say this. It's not bad. I mean obviously I'm not saying that. Um I don't like it as much as uh the Stellum, so uh but I will give it I give it a good a good three. I'm not even okay. gonna say I'm not even gonna say that I'm gonna keep it in my rotation. Like I I'm a First of all, if you know me, you know my rotation is basic as fuck. It's Evan Williams, fucking uh, uh, oh, Buffalo boy. Trace, and she probably now, which was crazy, is Woodford Reserve, which it wasn't at first. Like, I, I absolutely despised Woodford Reserve at first. I don't know why, though. But I'm a, I wasn't ready. He he gave me the Woodford Reserve when I was still drinking yak. I ain't understand. I was like, dog, this shit is terrible. You know what I'm saying? So now that's those are my three. So with this one... I wouldn't say I keep it all the time. I, I, I would definitely buy a bottle, though. I would have it on deck. You know what I'm saying? But 
Um, I'll probably break it out when y'all come through, because y'all love it so much. <laughs> I'll probably break it out for y'all. Fair enough. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'll give it. Hey, I'm happy too. Yeah, like I said, you good with that shit. Uh. So, I'll give, it, I'll give it a good three. Definitely the uh, the the hug lasts a lot longer than the Stellum, mm. uh, which is which can be a good thing, because it's not nasty. Uh, definitely, uh, I, I gave it a three. I want to give it a little bit more than three, actually, maybe a 3.25. And the only reason I say that. Cause I gave the first one a three, and I, I good fractions. I definitely like, <laughs> I definitely like this more than any rye that I've had. I take that back. There's one rye that I absolutely fuck with, dog. It's Traverse City, dog. Traverse City rye is fucking spectacular for some reason. I don't really like rye whiskey, but that shit is good. But as far as ryes go, I, I gave that a three, so I gotta get to the three. Uh, three point two five, just because it's it's better than than the rye to me though. So I know everybody does the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, mm -hmm. but don't sleep on the Tennessee Whiskey Trail. That is actually right. a, a good little thing. Not only Jack Daniels, but you got your Bell Meads, mm -hmm. right? A lot of different uh, distilleries out of Nashville, out yeah. of Tennessee. So because when you think Nashville, you always think of Jack Daniels. Yeah, like, this is exactly. the first thing you but think Nashville. of. Him. Right. But uh, Tennessee has a good little uh, community, especially yeah. they, they have their own whiskey mm -hmm. trail. So yeah. That's something to check out if you get a chance. For sure. So, look, before we get out of here and wrap this episode up, obviously we already did our ratings, but um, how much do you think the like the, the regions make a, a difference for you? So, obviously, this was in West Virginia, right? The Rye? West Virginia, Tennessee, Tennessee. Kentucky, and uh, Indiana, mm -hmm. and then Tennessee. Tennessee. Like, so, from what you, what you enjoy the most, do you think it has been affected <clears throat> by the region it was started in? Or it is kind of all over the place. I don't know. I, I know region does have an issue, have, have mm -hmm. a part to do with it. Yeah. If you drink like an Oregon spirit, you can taste the apples in the in the uh, the bourbons. Where mm -hmm. if you go to West Virginia, it's got more of that. Well, this is a rock, so it's, it's a rock. lot of spices. Yeah. You know you're gonna get that cleaner taste when you get something from Kentucky, but mm -hmm. then Tennessee's got the same water yeah. that Kentucky uses. So mm -hmm. you know the region does play uh, play a part. And then like uh, Texas mm -hmm. with the weather. Right. It right. Exactly. So you drink a balcony, it's gonna have an even more different taste than that. So yeah. you know, it's it just yeah, the region definitely has something. But like for your favorites though, it kinda it's kinda all over the place though. Yeah. So if you drink Travis City, stuff right, you obviously cherries you get the cherries out of it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. region definitely has a part Right, of but the the cherry the cherry whiskey is horrible. It's horrible. Like which is weird to me because I figure regular, I figure they would have killed wait, it. Stop though. Chill out, man. Wait, wait, Chill out, man. I'm I'm saying though. What did you just say? <sighs> cherry whiskey. Uh, okay, man. so what about cherry and whiskey even? Traditional whiskey and your bourbons, cherry is one of those traditional notes. I mean, yeah, but, like Traverse City, like but, you think of cherries. Well, yeah, 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 cherry. Still, cherry festival, like, all that shit. Well, I'm, 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 if I'm gonna drink some bourbon, I'm not. Traverse City cherry is not where I'm going. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If you want to mix it into like an old fashioned, it works. I just you drink it in some way. You're gonna be mad. The uh, first one? Oh, no, the Stellum. The Stellum. Yeah, yeah, for sure, in the old-fashioned. Old fashion. No yeah. doubt. And actually, we got to do one of those shows. We talked about that last year. We got to do an old-fashioned show. Uh, but, yeah, so that was it, dog. We went through all three of these. Um, so I want to thank you all for checking us out through all three of these. Of course, we do recommend all three of those. Uh, so definitely a good buy, especially, uh, especially the Stellum. Uh, <laughs> personal crowd favorite for myself. I'm I equal crowd. But uh, so we went through those three. So if you hang out until the next episode, we're actually going to do a blind tasting. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna kill this shit. It's gonna be easy because I know what's what now. Well, at least I'm gonna know one. I'm gonna know one for sure. Like this is the only one that's gonna smell like fruit. So I know I'm gonna get that one. These other two, I, I was, we still gonna know because the, the hug is so long on one of them and shit. I don't know, though. We're going to figure it out because I'm going to be high. It don't really matter. So, look, that's it. We went through all three, dog. I want to welcome you all again to uh, season six. We're going to keep it going from here. We're going to do more blind te uh, tasting. Shit, we're going to do some uh, on-site events. We hooked up with some cigar people. We're going to start doing more pairings with the uh, cigars and the whiskey. We got, a, we got a good run for y'all this season, dog, so make sure you hang out. I want to thank again my homeboy Q for stepping in with us today. Show. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to hang out to the next episode so we can do this uh, blind tasting. But again, thank you all for hanging out with us. Don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button underneath. Also, follow us on the gram at Beards Bourbon Whiskey. Man, you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's Beards Bourbon and Whiskey. I got my man, Angry Principal, holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. 
My dog Bo in the building. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. I'm buzzing like hell. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Shit.